Next is question number 2.28. There are three set of questions. We will solve one by one. So here it says an atomic orbital has n is equal to 3. What are the possible values of L and ML? So here n is equal to 3 is given to you. You need to find out L and ML value which is azimuthal quantum number and magnetic quantum number. So let's solve the first one. For the first one, I am having n is equal to 3. Alright. Now from n is equal to 3, I need to find out what is the L value. So here you can say L formula is n minus 1. Now n value is 3 here. So you will get 3 minus 1 which is 2. So up to 2 you will have values in L. That means you will have 0, 1 and 2. So up to 2 I am going to have values of L. Now to get the values of ML from L, I can write ML is equal to 2L plus 1. That is the formula for ML. So L value here, I have got 2. So when I substitute it, 2 into 2 plus 1, I will get total 5. Now when you say 5, let's see what are the 5 values that you get. So for each L value, what are the ML values? That is what they are saying. What are the possible values here? So over here, L, we have got 3 values here. L is equal to 0. L is equal to 1. L is equal to 2. So when I have all these 3 L values, what are the possible ML values do I have? When L is equal to 0, possible ML value is 0. When L is equal to 1, possible ML value is going to be minus 1, 0, plus 1. And when L is equal to 2, possible ML values are minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1 and plus 2. Now when I say all this, these depict some orbitals. So if L value is equal to 0, it is going to be S orbital. S orbital will have only one value. L is equal to 1 which means it is going to be for P orbital. P orbital will be 3 different orbitals are there. Px, Py, Pz. When L is equal to 2, I am going to get for D orbital. Dxy, Dyz, Dxz, Dx square minus Y square and Dz square. That is why I have 5 values here. Alright. So, these are the possible L and ML values for principal quantum number 3. Now the second question is, list the quantum numbers ML and L of electron for the 3D orbital. Again a simple question here. So for this particular question, I am going to have my orbital as 3D. Now looking at 3D, what all possible information can I get? 3 over here is the principal quantum number. If I have 2S, 3D, 4F, that number there is basically nothing but principal quantum number. So here I can write n is equal to 3. So I have got n value. Now from n value it is easy for me to get ml and l value. So here when l, n is equal to 3, l is equal to n minus 1 which is 2. Because n minus 1 is 3 minus 1, 2. Now when I have this, I am particularly looking for a 3d orbital. For that I need to write what these L values are. So we have learned this that when L is equal to 0, the orbital that you get is S orbital. When L is equal to 1, we get a P orbital. L is equal to 2, we get D orbital. And L is equal to 3, we get F orbital. So when we say all of this, we know that your ML value, you need to get another one ML value. But here when we have 3D, D is for L is equal to 2 and that's exactly what we got here. So L is equal to 2 is because we have D orbital. Now from here we need to move to ML. ML is 2L plus 1. So 2L is what? 2 into 2 plus 1 which is 5. Now 5 ML values are there which is nothing but minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2. These are the 5 ml values. So when we say that your uh, 
for a particular orbital 3d orbital i need to get what is the ml and l value ml value is 5 all right because from the 3d d orbital you are not telling which orbital it so ml value is 5 but since we know it is a d orbital d orbital l value is going to be 2 over here all right so that is your specific values of l and ml when you have a 3d orbital now the next question is which of the following orbitals are possible okay which means which all exist actually so here there are four different orbitals 1p 2s 2p and 3f let's see which of these are possible now for this that's your third question because obviously you are having principal quantum number and azimuthal quantum number principal quantum number is talking about the energy of orbital as the Muthal talks about the shape of orbital, S orbital, P orbital, whatever. So for that, your main important thing is to know this. When L is 0, it is S orbital. When L is 1, it is P orbital. When L is 2, you have D orbital. And when L is, F, L is 3, you have F orbital. So in this case, let's see what each of this is doing, denoting. The first one is going to be 1P orbital. So from this, what is it we can get? N is equal to 1. Because 1 is written here. Principal quantum number is 1. And here P orbital is given. For P orbital, what is your L value? 1. So we expect L is equal to 1 here. But we should, we should know one thing. Your N value and L value for the same orbital cannot be the same. In that case, this does not exist. L values cannot be same because L formula is N minus 1, which means one number lesser than N value. But here both have same value, so this orbital is not possible. Second orbital, let's see, 2S orbital. In this N value or the principal quantum number is 2. For this S is L is equal to 0. Because S orbital I have, for S orbital L value is 0. So L is 0. Now here this is possible. Because when I say L is equal to 2 minus 1, which is 1, in this 1, possible values of L that I can get are 0 and 1, 2 values. So in this case, I will get up to 1 you will get. So in this case, L is equal to 0, which means this orbital will exist. Now the next one is third one, which is 2P. Now for 2P, N is equal to 2. But p value, when is p uh, uh, value given here? When l is equal to 1. So l is equal to 1 in this case. Now here l value is equal to 2 minus 1 which is 1. So at up to 1 you will have values in l which is 0 and 1. You have one value of l over here. So this value is also possible. That orbital is also valid. Now your last orbital here is 3f. For 3f, n is equal to 3 and l value is equal to, when you have an f orbital, l value is 3. And we just learned that when you have n value and l value as the same, this particular orbital is not possible because l value is one number lesser than this. So in that case, it can't have the same value. So this way, if you get any orbital, first put down this in one corner. So it's easy for you to identify which orbital exists, which does not exist.